Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 51 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series 51. Man, I can't believe I'm already up to that far. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the world download of episode 50. I did leave all my stuff in this chest here for you. And I've got a few things in my inventory getting ready to start up uh, the 50s here with a bunch of new stuff. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work with Thalmcraft. Uh, last episode we wrapped up um, by setting up this nifty Essentia creation system for Elementum. Uh, Elementum is a very powerful fuel source and it produces four times the amount of heat in a solid fuel boiler that charcoal does and it's created using only charcoal and cobblestone which is basically free so uh really a nice setup we've got a huge amount of uh, elementum backlog here you can see uh, i think we ended last episode with one or two stacks of it now we've got almost an ender chest full pretty soon uh we'll be you know cruising along and just having tons and tons of this stuff and hopefully everything balances out and we have a nice stable system here but it looks like you know all intents and purposes yeah it looks like it's pretty close uh to being a nice stable system i'm pretty happy with that so uh you can see i've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory what could i possibly be making today well i would like to do a little bit more work in my thalmcraft room we spent a lot of time dealing with tech mods so i want to switch back to some magical based mods and hopefully one of the things that just irritates me like i can't even tell you guys how frustrated i get is this stuff up here on the ceiling i mean it's just nasty it's annoying it's frustrating and it just sits there and you know is not fun to deal with um so i'd like to build something that'll kind of help me not have to deal with it so much anymore that's kind of the plan. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I've asked Asinor in the past, I'm like, is there any way we're going to be able to clean this up automatically? Because I keep making a mess and people yell at me for leaving flux up on my ceilings. But I'm too lazy to keep, you know, getting rid of it. And he's like, yeah, there's something coming eventually. So until then, I'm going to deal with it my own way. We'll have a little bit of fun having a cleanup crew for this whole flux system. So basically what I want to do is build something that will allow me to do my infusion crafting, allow me to do my crucible work, have uh, excess flux just kind of float up to the ceiling, and then we're going to get rid of it somehow. How are we going to get rid of it? Well, I'm glad you guys asked. I've got some cool plans. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. Once I've gotten uh, just a little bit of stuff ready for what I'm going to need to work on, I would also like to see, uh, we've got all these glass panes in here. So how many jars do I have at the moment? That's a real good question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, so um, I need three more and then 26 more because there's about 52 types of Essentia vials. Uh, uh, let's see, um, Essentia, um, yeah, it's a file of, there we go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six times 48 plus three, so there's 51 total. So, um, you know, I'm going to need, let's say, you know, three more down here. So I'm thinking like here, here, and here, and that's actually going to be the 26. And then I'll do another set. That'll be 52. That'll be one more than I need, really, but that shouldn't be a problem. So um, let's get the three first. That's your job, guys. And since I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of these uh, crafting recommendations here, let's go ahead and switch up to the armor that makes this cheaper. Cool. See, just a little bit cheaper, but hey, when you're making 30 of these things, you know, what can I say? It's totally worth it. All right, so next up, let's just get another set of these. That's pretty close. I'm going to need 26 of them, I said, after the three. Cool. So what I'd like to do is, and now I can switch back to you. So what I want to have is one jar of Essentia for each type of Essentia. And we're just going to stick with that theme. Okay. So if I counted correctly, once I put the second layer of jars around here, I should have a total of zero jars in my inventory. We'll see how well I can count. Hey, look at me, I can count. All right, good. So um, we've got jars. Now I want to double check to make sure that I've got all of one type. So let's grab... I don't have my goggles of revealing. Let's go snag some. You can go over to here and you can go there. That looks cool. 
and away we go. So I'm gonna just make sure that I've got one of each type of Essentia. Sometimes just before you've really cleaned things up, uh, you might have some duplicates. So Iter and, okay, so that's different. Perdito, just one of them. Ignis, Potentia, looks pretty good. I, I think I cleaned up most of the duplicates already, but I just wanna double check. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. All right, I think we're actually in good shape with this. So I'm going to be back in a minute and uh, get some of the things I need prepared to deal with that stuff that's up on the ceiling. Hey, remember this book? Yeah, it's been a while since I've really played much with Tinker's Construct, but there's something I wanna get. Uh, so let's see, if I come over here, how is everything doing? Ooh, this portable tank has probably seen better days. Uh, let's dig into our tools bag, get out our crescent hammer. See you later, more supportable tank. We're gonna have to do something better with you. Uh, how about this guy? What did I have this thing set up to do? Anything? Nope, pneumatic servo needs to be installed. So let's do that for now. And what I wouldn't mind doing is, you know what? As a matter of fact, I kind of stopped relying on lava-based power down here. So I actually have this thing disabled. Like he's just there, but he's off. So why don't I just snag this thing real quick? See, he's not actually outputting energy or lava, so the lava tanks are empty. I don't think he's actually going anywhere else. He was also going into here, but that's off. And nothing else is complaining about not activated anymore, so... I think I was using him to get obsidian, but, eh. If I need to, I can set up another one in the future. Come here, you. I had a feeling he'd drop down there. only because that was like the worst place for him to fall. And I went all Murphy's Law on it. All right, now that we've got that going, I would like to start making some aluminum brass. That stuff is really cool and useful, and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute. But let's set him down and activate it so that he automatically dumps out, and that should make sure that we have plenty of lava in our smeltery. So let's see, if I were to throw in, um, according to the Mighty Smelting book, uh, aluminum brass is made out of three pieces of aluminum and one piece of copper. There's something to keep in mind though. Remember, the um, smeltery will double ores. So if you're throwing aluminum ore in there, it's not three to one because three aluminum ore is actually six aluminum ore. So you're gonna wanna double your copper. So if you're gonna use copper ingots and aluminum ore, you're gonna wanna set it up like that, okay? So three to two, okay? Three to two, just like this. And I wouldn't mind making a decent amount of this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is, um, you know, let that start cooking up. He's doing a good job. We can see all the aluminum and um, copper in there. Let it go, and then I'll be back in a minute to uh, turn it into some kind of awesome liquids. All right, back in just a moment, once that's done smelting, and I might even want to be able to cook this a little bit more of it. So I'm thinking about bumping this up a little bit. Let me, let me see what I have by way of seared bricks. Can I manage to get a few seared brick? So I need uh, some grout. How would I do by way of grout, really? I'm missing something for grout. Gravel, okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's request like a stack of sand and a stack of gravel. And how am I for clay? Yeah, I've seen better days for clay, but that's okay. We'll get as much as we can, deal, deal. Hey, why didn't you gravel? Request 64, please. There it all goes. Ah, much better, okay. So that's enough for me. I'll throw these guys into the induction furnace and I'm gonna build this up a little bit. So let's do a little bit of uh, counting here. If I wanna get bricks, I'd want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three seared glass. There we go, it's coming through. and seared glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
one, two, three. We'll let that increase the size of this thing. So remember, the, the larger the multi-block structure here, the more things you can smelt at a time, which basically means your smeltery is going to run longer and faster and all kinds of good stuff will happen. So if we wanted to just demonstrate this, we could come over here and see, all right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and this slider bar doesn't do anything. If I were to throw in another level here, one, two, three. Now we should have more rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So definitely more room to throw in some aluminum. One, two, three. Oops, one, two. And I missed a line, so it doesn't really matter where you throw it. It's all good, like that. Nice, that'll do. All right, gonna let that cook up some more and we'll be back. All I need to do really to get that is, um, well, I'd really have rather have like a faucet here. It doesn't matter. I could automate this, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Let's get, good, I have a seared faucet laying around. And how are we right now? We've got 24 ingots of aluminum brass. So just right click there, it'll fill up the basin and then we'll get a block's worth. Um, so we should be able to get three blocks worth of aluminum brass, cool. Or no, not quite three, huh? No, a little bit short of three. We can get two though at least, so that's good. Well, when you solidify, it should go right into the chest. Perfect. All right, let me get a few more pieces of aluminum brass and we'll be back. Now, for what I'm gonna be needing to make, I want a bunch of these, right? Just pour the uh, aluminum brass into here and we get a blank uh, cast. So uh, just to speed this up a little bit, let's see. I need another hopper and another chest. Let's get two chests. I never did teach the A system how to make that. And a hopper. Oh good, I have one of them. Cool, I don't need two chests anymore. Now can I open this thing from here? Oh good, I can. And there you go. So now if I were to say, put this guy here. Oh no, not that way. All right, not sure where everything went. Oh, the lava went in there, I see. Yeah, we don't want that. I'm gonna have to dump that out somehow. Um, but let's see, yeah, I'll just do this. So the aluminum brass is on the bottom. What I'm going to do is tell this guy to pump out into here. And uh, I can just tell it to do it with a redstone signal. That shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So it's going to keep pumping that out, and then as soon as it hardens, it'll uh, drop into the chest here and fill it up again, drop into the chest, fill it up again, etc. So I'll be back in a minute when this is all cleared out. All right, now that we've got a bunch of aluminum brass, like a little bit more than a stack, and we've got some blank casts, uh, what I'd like to show you guys is something that's one of my favorite blocks from this mod. It's actually now part of, technically it's part of Tinker's Mechworks. They both used to be the same mod, and then they decided, you know what, we've got like Tinker's Construct, which is more like the tools and the items, and then Tinker's Mechworks, which is this nifty mod that adds like a bunch of different mechanical blocks and, and automation type stuff, and that's uh, kind of where they came from. So what we've got here is the drawbridge. Now there's actually three types of drawbridge, the basic one, which I'm gonna be using, and the advanced and extended, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. Extended drawbridge can go a lot further, but boy, are they expensive. They require a block of cobalt and ardite each, so it's super expensive. The advanced drawbridge, not quite as bad. You just take one regular one and upgrade it a little bit, and that's pretty neat. Um, I'll show you guys what these are all about. So first off, we're going to want some dispensers. So I'm thinking, I don't know exactly how many of these guys I want. Um, I obviously need more cobble, so let's go ahead and request that, because remember, it's in... Um, it's you know down in the um, barrels and stuff, so we have to go ahead and request it to actually have a bunch of cobble available. Uh, let's see here, drawbridges or droppers actually, yeah, right. So drawbridge needs dropper, no dispensers. Wait, what am I doing here? Drawbridge. Oh, I see. Ha, huh, derp. So they actually need uh, dispensers, which need a bunch of bows. So let's make some of those first. Uh, let's make ourselves some sticks. I think I know how to make sticks, right? AE system. You know how to do that? I hope. So droppers, I don't really actually need you, so sorry. Sorry for wasting your time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's go with 12. 
That sound like a good plan? Okay, I know it was dispensers I actually needed. There we go, we got a dozen of those, and now I should be able to get a bunch of these if I have enough bronze. Which, um, did I teach the system how to make? No, I never did. I'll get around to it. I'm just gonna get like a couple stacks of bronze just so I have it handy. And then I can make drawbridges. Hooray! So these guys are cool. Let me show you why. You can place pretty much any block in them. So let's go with uh, some kind of stone. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go down here and grab a stack or two of stone. And we'll go outside for a demonstration because that's always a good place to demonstrate stuff. So all it needs is a redstone signal and some items inside. So the right side are the items that are going to be deployed by the drawbridge in the direction that the drawbridge is facing, wherever the hole is facing out. So if I were to, for example, put uh, some stone in there and apply a redstone signal, ta-da, it builds this awesome drawbridge. How cool is that? Now, it can't go very far. I think it's 16 blocks. So yeah, let's see. Or 14 blocks, I guess. All right. So not like the furthest range in the world, but it's enough that it can, you know, do pretty well. Remove the redstone signal and the drawbridge retracts. Cool. So you can have a bunch of these. You could use them for like drawbridges for castles, or you could have them for doors, or you could have them for what I'm going to use, which is going to be a venting system for my flux. Uh, the other cool thing about this is if uh, this left inventory slot makes the block um, appear like whatever block goes in here. So if I put smooth stone in there, oh, now all of a sudden the drawbridge looks like smooth stone. So it's a nice way to hide the fact that you actually have a drawbridge there. And then it still works, right? Redstone signal on off. Uh, we'll deploy as many um, blocks as possible. Now the advanced one, the one that's the cheap upgrade, um, that's kind of neat. You can specify exactly each block that's going to be deployed. So it'll, you, you can say like stone, glass, brick, whatever you want, right? And it'll go in the exact pattern that you specify. Um, and the uh, extended one just has a longer range, but is, like I said, a little expensive. So let's go ahead and use this stuff. Um, now there's something else I want to make. Uh, let's go in here. Do I have a stone? Stone tool rod from Tinker's Construct. Nice. I'm going to snag one of these guys. And what I'm going to do uh, along with that is get some of that aluminum brass that I already requested. And I'm going to put it in a line like this. Cool. And this is going to get me some lengths of wire. I'm going to get like a stack of it. That sounds like a good number. And if I just surround it in here and put this stone tool rod in the middle, I'll get a spool of wire and that's gonna use up some of that stuff. Then I put that spool in the center here, and I can constantly upgrade um, the amount of wire that's part of that spool. So we can go here, we've got 240, and now we've got 232. See the second number on the right there? So what it's doing is it's adding um, wire to this spool, and it's gonna constantly build up. So I've got this spool of wire with a bunch of cool stuff. What I'd like to do is zip downstairs because I plan to use this stuff a lot. Let's go back into Tinker's MechWorks and take a look at the signal bus and the signal terminal, okay? So I'm gonna teach the A system how to make these guys real quick. Uh, let's get some, um, let's see, uh, I'm pretty sure I can use cobblestone. So let's teach it how to get cobblestone slabs. So we'll clear this guy out, cobblestone. I think it can be like almost any kind of slab. So cobblestone slab, right, encode that, good deal. Put you in there. And I'm gonna actually request a couple of them. So slab, give me just one. It'll make six, of course, but that's fine. And then uh, I wanna teach you how to make the wire. So let's do that. Encode that guy. Put him in there and get myself a few of them, wire. So it doesn't know how to make aluminum brass. So this is relying on the fact that I've got extra aluminum brass laying around. Okay, but then I should be able to do this and this to get that. Encode that into there. And then finally, I want to get um, Tinker's MechWorks, what's it called? The signal terminal, which is just that. Encode, good to go, cool. So these are some pretty nifty mechanics. So what I'm gonna do is get myself um, one signal bus you need per system and uh, two signal terminals. Now it's gonna, I think, uh, go ahead and use a signal bus. So I'm gonna have to request another one of them. There we go. So signal bus and signal terminals, two of them, awesome. Let's go see how these work. 
All right, so these signal terminals and signal buses are really cool. They're basically redstone uh, wireless, short range wireless redstone, if you will. Uh, but it uses these spools of wire. So let's see if we can figure out how they work. So what you want to do basically is plant down one signal terminal on uh, one side, and you're going to want another signal terminal on another side. And to get these guys to communicate with each other, you need a signal bus in the middle somewhere. Now these have a range of about 16 blocks, so you can't go like ridiculously far with it um, but uh, you know it's it's pretty nice for short range uh, signaling okay what you do is you right click on the signal terminal with your spool of wire and then right click on the signal bus and that'll draw a line that connects between the two the, the lines only visible when you've got a spool of wire in your hand okay so you basically want both signal terminals connected to the same bus and these guys will then be connected to each other such that when you apply a redstone signal to the one the other one receives it so let's go ahead and put some items in here to demonstrate this and cool right yeah and there you go off perfect now the other cool part about this is you can actually have multiple colored signals so for example if I switch this guy to an orange color uh, he wouldn't hook up to this guy because he's white white and orange won't communicate to each other so you can have 16 different channels one for each color of Minecraft so if I did sync up the colors so if I bumped this guy up to yellow for example um, there we go off and on again ta-da now it's communicating and everybody's friends. Very cool, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip these guys. I'm actually just going to break them. Now when you break them, by the way, you'll get back the spool of wire use because every time you run this wire, it's actually using a little bit of the wire. So when you break this, it's going to give you that wire back. Okay, so that's important to note. Um, and you can just refuel the, the spool of wire just by adding it to a crafting table. Any combination of wires in the crafting table, 196, 193. So see, we just added three to it. You can even add one at a time, 192. So that gets you back to your uh, whole state. So let's go ahead and combine everything that we just discovered and come up with a cool way to make a roof that retracts to let out all the flux and get it out of this nasty area here. All right, guys, so it looks like this pattern is kind of a worst case scenario for what we're looking at here. So let's clean up what we've got at the moment. All right, I don't have my hat on. Let me go get that. So what I'm thinking then is something like this. Um, so obviously we've got just such a mess here of taint and flux and all this nasty stuff. I'm yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so what we want to have then is drawbridges facing out this direction. Let's do... Oh, that was easy. Good catch there, Dyer. If we had drawbridges facing out like this, and then we fill them with... I don't know. Let's... Just for the sake of being nice and stable. I mean, it shouldn't ever get to that point. Let's start with, with just a few, and then we'll expand if we need to. I'm debating if I want to have, like, a lot or a little bit here, but I'm going to go with expand it as necessary. Cool? Like that. All right, so uh, we'll have that there. Then we'll have one, two, three. So we're going to put uh, one block here and then three here. Okay? And I'm going to do that for all of them. One here. And you know what, I'm actually going to not put these in yet because I want to make it nice and easy to see where th where everything is before I really go too nuts with it. So, we'll do that. And let's jump into bat form real quick. And I made myself, as you can probably see, a few extra signal terminals. Uh, now remember, these guys do have a limited range, so we don't want to go too crazy with it. There we go, but we want one, two, three. Come on now, behave. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm thinking I want my cleanup system. Might make sense. Hmm. Trying to decide, where's my ruler? Trying to decide exactly where I want these to be, because remember, they only have like a short-ish kind of range. Um, let's say, if I were to go from here, you know, maybe if I went from here, that would be cool. I could probably just have the drawbridge here, across to here. That's 11 blocks. That should be doable. I could even bump it out one more, just to be extra safe and make sure I've got everything. So I could go like here, to one block away from here. To there 13 that should be doable 
All right, so I'll probably have them across here like that, right across the ceiling. Does that sound cool? And because I can, you know, camouflage them a smooth stone, it shouldn't be a big deal. So I think I'm gonna have my button be like right here. So let's uh, let's get a lever on the wall here. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. Let's say right like that. Oh wait, there's a, okay, I see. Let's put it like right there then. That look cool. Then we can have one of these guys here. And we're gonna basically, I'm thinking, put this up here. Hopefully that'll be able to reach all across there. If not, I might have to rearrange where these go. But spool of wire to the signal bus. And then I need to get all these ones in the back here. So it'll probably be easier just to run through it. Now, if I wanted to, I could just use wireless, re wireless redstone, or I could use, I don't know, let's be honest, there's a thousand things we could use here, right? Um, yeah, let's put it like right here, since I accidentally broke it already. Uh, or I could just use, you know, the Project Red stuff. But, I don't know, this seemed like fun to use. I want to show you guys something new today. Okay, so just got to connect here to the signal bus. There we go. And I'm going to do that for the rest of these. Like they can all be connected to the same signal bus, right? That's how it works. There we go. So all five are connected to the signal bus. Then it's just a matter of connect the lever to the signal bus. And, <laughs> look at that. Nice little venting system, right? So let's say, like, right, sake of argument, we've got, like, that stuff there. We could just say, hey, clear out. And then replace. And what that should do is remove the block, because remember, you place a block on top of the, um, the, the, the flux and it'll get destroyed. Cool. So we'll keep an eye on that and make sure it works out pretty well, but I think it will. So let's close it up. Looks cool. I might even want of equal trade this. Let's see. Um, wand of equal trade. Set it to this guy. Ah, look at that. Fancy, right? So everything looks really good. And, whoops, didn't want to do that. Cool. Look at that. I like it. All right, now this one's obviously going to be a little bit more work, but courtesy of my handy dire hammer, I got a pretty organized and cleaned up room. So let me just tidy this up a little bit. I don't think I have. Do I have? Um, I do have my builder's wand on me. Cool. That'll help. There we go. Cool. And then want of equal trade it just to make it look even better. Excellent. And then what I'm thinking is, oh, by the way, lots of gravel fell on top of my thing here, so I have to fix that. I'll fix it up in a minute. Uh, what we'll have is some drawbridges. I think I'm going to need just a few more, but don't worry, I'm cooking up um, what we're going to need. Four, five, six, seven. I think I need four more, and that should be good. Let me get that going. All right, guys, so here's kind of the setup. You ready? Look at it go. That is cool. I like that a lot. Now all I gotta do is add some smooth stone in here to cover these up, and you'll never know until you flip the lever. And then you'll be like, whoa, that is cool. And you'd be right, because it is a cool setup. I'm really happy with it. Um, it should help me to clean up my flux. Now it won't clean up the liquid flux that falls on the ground. I'll still have to do that one manually, but any gaseous flux that flies up into the air, I won't have to fly up here, place blocks, break blocks, all that annoying stuff that I had to do. All I gotta do is open the drawbridges. They'll um, allow the flux to kind of flatten out over the terrain on the top there. And then, uh, let's see, like if we close this up, Oh yeah, that's cool. And like, totally normal looking ceiling. Everything's concealed. Um, let's say we had uh, tossed a bunch of cobblestone in there, and then, uh, oops, I didn't really mean to do that. Uh, I got the solid stuff. 
I don't want the liquid stuff. I want the I want the gaseous stuff. There we go. So like we've got this nasty gas that's floating on the ceiling getting stuck up there, right? And it's always just ugly and annoying. Just flip the lever and it'll float up. And the same for above the uh, arcane pedestals here, the infusion altar. And then to get rid of it, we just flip the lever again. And it removes it because as we know, placing a block on top of the stuff um, gets rid of it. So that's going to remove that flux. Sound cool? All right, so uh, we've got a nice system here. You know what, because I did place down this, uh, all these things, what I should be able to do now is the following. Let's see, I think it's, I right click this dude. We'll see how all these things are here. I think F to clear his um, known locations. Yeah, that clears it all. Uh, so F on your keyboard clears everything he knows what to do. I'm just gonna pop him right there. That should uh, connect to all these. And then I also wanna add here, that should connect to all those. I didn't get around to creating the labels for these yet, um, but the reason I didn't do that is I need some ink. Uh, I'm low on ink, I'm gonna need more of it in order to you know, do what I wanna do. So I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of squid killing between this episode and next, and then we're gonna be able to label everything and do some cool stuff with uh, labels to get the jars nice and organized. But for now, we're dealing with taint, and we've produced a whole heck of a lot of alimentum. Look at that, beautiful. And I told you we'd have a surplus of charcoal eventually, right? Yeah, and we do. Uh, clearly, we're producing a surplus of charcoal once we've uh, burned through all the elementum. Obviously, because we have a surplus of elementum, we knew that we'd eventually get a backlog of charcoal as well. And it looks like things are working perfectly. For now, this is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and take it easy!